I don't remember the day they came and took us, but I remember being in the days following. I remember being in a hotel with them, with the uh, social workers. I believe it was a man and a woman. And I remember getting on the plane and uh, being on the plane. I remember when we landed in New Orleans, um, the uh, foster parents, uh, sorry, the uh, social workers, after we got off the plane, uh, saying, there's your new mom and dad, they're gonna take you to your new home. And that was about it. And when you think back on that now, knowing how far they took you and that someone randomly decided that you, Christopher and Eric, were going to be taken from Manitoba, far, far away from any of your family to be placed with this American couple. And I know you've obviously thought about this a lot. Mm -hmm. What is your take on that now? I feel um, with the government that it, it was just a, another attempt at their genocide. I think that it definitely has to be acknowledged you know, by the government, whether I know it's not this government that did you know, put that plan into action, but I do think the government has to acknowledge it. I think that there has to be um, but like now they had the repatriation program when I came up here that wasn't established you know and I think it's a good program for those that do come up here now I think that has to be followed through on I think that um, our families of the people we were taken away from I think they have to be um, they have to be aware of what we're coming back to look for because it's not just a person we're looking for it's a place of belonging they have to be educated on that they have to be educated that um, there is definitely a culture difference where we grew up you know whether it was in Canada in a white family or in the states with you know a white family or a black family whatever the circumstances were, that there is definitely a culture difference now, that um, it takes a long time to reestablish that family unity. I know I've struggled with that and to let them, I think it just needs to be educated. And, you know, I know that I've lost a lot, you know, and I know that, um, my family has lost a lot. My brothers have lost a lot. You know, if there could be some kind of compensation, that would be great. But on the other hand, no amount of compensation is going to give me what I don't have. You know, no amount of money is going to make, make it better in any sense. I guess just education and for all parties involved, from the families we are taken from, to ourselves, to the government, you know, to um, organizations that want to help, you know, just educating that uh, we, well, I, you know, about myself, I know that I came back very lost, you know, and I'm, I've struggled for years to find that, that safe place and I'm realizing that, you know, after 10 years of looking and struggling and wanting and chasing it, you know, that I can only come to terms with myself at this time. And that's, I think that's what I'm working on right now. Coming to terms with myself and my life and trying not to, uh, to chase things that I'll never find. You know, it's the family unity that I had looked for so long or that I thought I was running back to that wasn't there when I got here, you know, stop chasing those things that only make me feel despair and make me 
want to go out and do something desperate or make me want to, you know, lose myself a little more because I'm not finding them. Yeah.